Welcome back to Soulstone Survivors and today I have a specific build that I want to do. We have the singular focus and you may think it's about the main staff here, but it's actually not. Um, yeah, I kind of miss that this one also increases its damage the more shattered you have on the enemies So that's why the damage catapulted up the last time But I want to go for a completely different weapon and you'll see it once we get there you get banished goodbye Um, I think I'll roll oh, block power is okay. So yeah, I want to go for a different weapon There is one that attacks also ridiculously fast I've invested all of the upgrades and as you can see we have well some upgrades overall and uh, certain things such as like, the character applies, like whenever we attack we now apply prowess at a chance. Um, okay, what is this actually? Every two, uh, 10 seconds two energy orbs with opposite day and night alignments will appear. Only one can be collected and upon collecting six of them, we summon six clones to fight alongside with us. Okay, that's that's the one that I want. <laughs> that's, that's the one that I want. <laughs> So do you see how fast it attacks? It's pretty much the same. It's a tick slower. So it applies prowess, gains bonus damage the more prowess is on the enemies, and also our character just by attacking applies it. So that means we'll have a lot of stacks. I'll be honest, that's not what I expected what it does. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a little bit weird. That's a little bit... I'm not gonna lie, that's a little, That's not what I expected. Now, the one thing that we want is, we want to have one weapon that is very slow, right? Because we trigger it with the main weapon attacks the moment we get the upgrade, at least. And that means we have to wait for a very specific weapon, and then also the upgrade that actually allows us to trigger that. That's also important. Uh, where's the day one? There's the day one. So now we have the clones... Groundbreak? Spinning staff? Uh, these are sadly not the ones that I want to have. Is that the... Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, mm, I could also... Nah, 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 nah. Let, let's... Oh, Bloodlust. Nah, it's perfect. Where are my clones? Are these the clones? I think these are the clones. Oh, God, that's a lot of level ups. Ah, uh, that's the wrong one. Stop that. Oh, that... Yeah, that's the one. Nice. Okay, these are my clones. What are they actually doing? Hmm. I kind of thought they would, like, mimic what I have, but I guess not. Maximum distance is five... Oh, if I'm really close to them, I honestly don't care about that. I'll just go for Merciless. Ooh, powerful strike. Nice. The upgrades that I chose are here. Singular focus, multicast mastery. Each time we attack, we can apply prowess. Let's go for the dark one this time. Um, and whenever we kill 100 enemies, we will heal... How much HP? 15 HP. Uh, so sounds good to me. Uh, that's not the stuff that I want. I'm looking for a very particular one. Okay, that's our third one, actually. That's insane. You're already at one second? Oh, because of the Bloodlust buff, right? Uh, yeah. We just have to bump the numbers up on that one. Ooh, careful there. Where are the orbs? Okay, there's the dark one. They are a little bit hard to see. I wish there was a pointer to them. Relentless is huge, because the faster we attack, the more insane this will become. What are the bosses doing? Oh, they are just going for my clones. Oh, feel free to do so. I wonder if the old ones disappear when I get new ones. I think magnetic seems to be very important. There was also a thing in the last one. I never got that. Oh my god, do you see that, guys? So this applies brittle to the enemies. That means it increases the damage that the enemies take by a flat amount. And because our weapon attacks so fast, this can be used very well. But also we gain Colossus, which increases our area. And this is what I wanted. 7.2 seconds cooldown is one of the longest cooldowns in this game. Uh, it, it, well, okay. For the earth spells and also for being such a broken spell. So yeah, that's what I wanted. There we go. Attack speed on you. So how is it looking right now? Frequency or potency? Potency makes it stronger. Frequency lowers the cooldown. I think I'll actually go for the frequency. We just lost 4 seconds on that, which is good. Okay. Because we need to have the buff up as long as possible. The bosses are still fighting down here. And one thing I'm noticing is... This time, whoa. Oh, these are all insane. Um, I think I'll actually lock this one and then get the multicast. The multicast only applies to one of the weapons. It's not one that applies like to everything, but it's still very good because the value is higher compared to applying it to everything. Okay. Ah, we can get the weapon in the future. That's totally fine. Like from time to time, we'll just get weapons and then I can pick it out the moment we get it. Here is the skill chain. What are you? Oh, no, I don't like that, I think. I don't want to buff up my clones, yeah. Okay, it's still not in there. I could roll here, but I think I rather want to roll there. 
Uh, still didn't get it. Okay. Well, let's go for attack speed overall. Overall attack speed is way better than particular attack speed. Oh! You have a 100% chance to do a crit strike. I'll take it because it can never appear again. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can use them, but I don't know how good they are. Increases potency, that makes it better. Yeah, it was at 44%, now it's at 62% cast frequency. Do we are actually forming something quite powerful, I think. What are my clones doing? These shadow clones are going crazy. They have, like, leech effects. Huh? Okay. Uh, frequency means it's now... Is it now almost permanent? Almost permanent. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What... Are these the brittle debuffs? Yeah, these are the brittle debuffs. They have like 100 brittle... Nice, perfect. They have like 100 brittle debuffs on them. Well, had. <laughs> while it was going on. We don't care all too much about damage on these ones. We just care about attack speed. That is very important. Critical chance against enemies far away. That's... Wait. So the earthquake. What is your range? Because it says under random enemy. If this happens like across the entire map, then this thing will just completely destroy the enemies. Multicast. Okay, you know what, I'll actually pick that. Damage increase for... So this one is good because we have 74% cast frequency and now we have 90%. So even though it sounds weird to increase the damage of an effect, you know, a status effect, it still helps and it buffed up the damage of this one. Uh, let's roll here. I would like to have something against enemies far away. Okay, nice. I'm actually in love with the f Oh, I would want that, but I'll go for the area. I'm actually in love with the fact that weapons can trigger other weapons. That is such a nice idea, and it's actually so simple because you had chains already in this game. But I've never thought of that. For each skill, you have the type of slam. Increase the modifiers of your skills without the type slam. Wait, <laughs> you're <t> Wait. <laughs> Where am I? So you're, you're telling me we increase the damage of this by 64%? Is this really what you're telling me? Yep, look at the damage modifiers, how they shot up. Um, okay, like, I didn't even know that there was a thing, but I don't mind it, I'm really happy about it, in fact, that is perfect. Whenever you cast a skill of the type slam, you have a chance of casting another one with the type chaos? Wait, you mean I could have another, like, instead of a stick, I could have something completely different? It doesn't make any sense here, by the way, because this one, again, is almost infinite, I just have to increase my attack speed a tiny bit. Wait, I, huh. So that's not a unique synergy that we discovered there. Like, you can just generally do that. Um, okay, why is everything so big? Oh, because of the area stacks, yeah. <laughs> and they grow. They grow quite a lot. I don't know if we'll have enough damage to deal with the bosses later on. Like, it's a lot of fun. Like, it looks gimmicky what we are doing, but I'm not sure if the damage is there. I want to banish that, but... I don't think that's worth it. There will be something else that annoys me. We have to keep in mind that we don't level up a lot anymore. So we have to make sure that the choices that we make are really good. Okay. Well, I mean, I can't influence if all three are bad. But that I'm careful about what I choose. Okay, so how is it... Ooh, Whirlblade. I don't like that. How is it looking damage-wise, though? Okay, the one that gets hit by the Earthquake, which is sadly only one right now, is taking an okay amount of damage, but the rest just doesn't care at all. Also, one thing I noticed is... Where are the debuffs? The debuffs are gone. Wait, I just realized that. Um, usually... Huh? So, from the level ups you can get debuffs, like apply poison, apply fragility, and stuff like that. It's completely gone. At least I haven't seen it. Maybe it's unique to this character, but I don't think so. I've also seen a rune that your weapons apply a random debuff at a 20% chance. But if that got entirely removed... Ooh, I don't know if that's good. Could it also be that the rarity has changed of the upgrades? Like, I feel like really like I'm just seeing low rarity skills. And I've also noticed this the last time, where I took the one that the least minimum rarity is the green one. I've almost only seen green ones. And rarely legendaries or purple ones or even blue ones compared to the past at least. I don't know what to think about this, because on one side I really like craziness, but on the other side, I know from a lot of viewers, their problem, their main problem with the game is, it was just way too much. And I think they... Fuck, no, that's sure. <laughs> yeah, but listen, usually I had way more than just, like, the first one after such a long time. No, but, like, a lot of viewers had a problem with clarity, and it was just too much and headache-inducing, and maybe that's why they made this change, and honestly, 
if this was just its own game mode, that the others could play the original one, and the different players that may like this one here more could play this one, this could be fine. So yeah, I just went to the Discord. Oh hey, we finished that. I just went to the game Discord and suggested, hey, I, I know you guys took back what you made, but um, in, in case you want to change this up or meet in the middle, please don't. Keep how it is right now because I actually very much enjoy it. It's less chaotic, but get the other how it used to be, like exactly how it used to be. Get that back into the game as a special mode. Like, in, on the main menu, when you select your stage, you can just tick a box and it's like arcade mode or whatever. I think this would be a very good compromise if that's the issue for people. What is going on with this weapon right now? Um, okay, so why are there so many small ones? Okay, wait, no, this is nearby enemies, I don't care about that. Yeah, let's go for the area. Let's make our sticks even bigger. Okay, the clones should be also quite good in here. Because it's really limited. Let me get the, the night one here. Nice, there we go. Careful. There's another day one. I just want to have a huge amount of these clones. So I think for every day clone I have, we get a melee one. And for every night clone we have, we have a ranged one. Unless I'm mistaken with that. That could also be... Oh, you know what I have to check? Um, a crit chance would be nice, but just give me a high rarity. Let's check out the damage. And if the earthquake is not first, that would be insane. Oh, wait. It counts them all together, right? So this is divided by 4. That means we have 85,000 DPS. Yeah, this one is winning. And it gets only more extreme. Like, the better this one gets, the better this one gets. Okay. Not, 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 not understandable. That's okay. I kind of hope that Earthquake would have way more. But it's also very limited. Especially because the first stage was so big. It would just often be in a spot where no enemy is around. Oh, yes. That sounds good. That sounds perfectly good. Let's bump that up. Okay, let's see. Dude, I'm actually having issues seeing... Yeah, perfect. I'm having issues seeing stuff. Let's make it even bigger. <laughs> what is this stuff? The expansive throw. Yeah, you definitely grow, mate. You definitely grow. I'm noticing that. I will take the magnetic here in hopes we get a few more level ups. Honestly... On this mode, it may be completely wasted to take Magnetic. My experience is, when you normally play like how it used to be, the bonus experience had a huge impact because again, each cycle seemed to start back on zero, like that you gained way more experience. So getting bonus experience was mental. Because you never needed to take it in the future again, you just took it early on, really big ones, and you got so much value out of it. But here, I just paid with a level up, and if at the end of the game I didn't get a bonus level up because of just picking this one, then it's not worth it. And I mean, even if I get a level up, then it just means I delayed a power upgrade until that point. So, yeah, I need at least two level ups. So how's it looking right now? The bosses... Hmm, the ones running after me, they are a little bit hard to hit. Wait, the Chaos Bringer is the one running after me and he got destroyed. Look at this. There he's standing, just watching on the sideline. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> sure, buddy. Uh, yeah, look. Oh my god. Okay, expensive. Beautiful. Okay, that's... What is this one here? What is that one for an effect? I mean, whatever it is, I'm not gonna complain about it because it seemed like we have a huge amount of stacks of whatever that was. Okay, the bosses are here. Let's go. These are the final bosses, by the way. Oh! They stayed at 20. Usually they went up every single cycle. That's another thing that I've missed. Dude, this mode is so much more calm. But at the same time, you've seen this at the end of the last video. The moment I stood still and didn't dodge anymore, I immediately died. I got completely destroyed. Okay, the Fallen King is the last one that is left over. Where is he? Uh, Wait, where is he? Is he no, that's a scorpion. Oh, what are you doing? Stop fighting my clones. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Look at all the earthquakes. <laughs> hey, multicast for the clones. I mean, sure, why not? I believe the expensive throw is actually out damaging the earthquake. Oh, but that also makes sense. Okay, that's a little bit of a weird thing. So, the earthquake applies to Brittle, correct? That the enemies take more damage, and it's 35 more damage per stack on them. So, if you have like 200 stacks on them, that, that is a lot. That is 7,000 bonus damage. That means also it buff... <gasps> I got stuck step, bro. That also means the enemies take more damage from our giga-fast attacking weapons. Be be like, because they do so many hits, isn't that what I thought about in the very beginning? Why am I talking about this as if this was, like, <laughs> something I just discovered? I kind of forgot about it, though. 
Wait, that is insane. Okay, let's roll here. I want multicast on these house. Perfect. Nice. Oh god, the next bosses are there. Let's see. Do we get to cast immediately? Okay, one is brittled already. Very good. All of them are brittled. Yep, that's the power of area, by the way. Just saying. That's the power of... Oh, I will lock that. I need I need the armor is the thing. Otherwise, I will very quickly die. Okay. <laughs> How do I have these limited weapons? Like, one is just on the floor that we don't see. And this stuff here. And I still struggle with clarity. Like, the moment they pop off, it's really hard to see anything on the screen. Yeah, maybe because of area and multicast decks. Yeah, I'm aware of that, okay. <laughs> I like it, actually. <laughs> I just want to complain about the chaos that I created. Because I feels good. <laughs> we are rolling over them. That's called steamrolling. Let's go for the crit, I guess. The game doesn't want to offer me a better rarity for it. Mine! It's for chaos! Why would you do that to me? That's useless. Oh, re okay, that's good. Yeah, that makes up for it. That's that's fine. You know what? That, no, that doesn't make up for it. Okay, that's sad. So there are different rarities to it. I just didn't notice that. Oh, I didn't see them. Okay, I'll, I'll just take the clones. I need to have... Did I die? No, wait. How did I survive that? I think because I had healed and then... What happened to the bosses? Do you see that? Is he kicking in the entire strategy? Be careful. Yeah. Um, th those were four bosses. I mean, there are two left, one left. The, the other one is about to die. I think I'll actually go for the potency over the dashes. You don't need that many dashes here. Like, it's okay. Yeah, but there we go. Th that was it. Easy peasy. So now we go from 150% and those are the stats. Let's check this out if we can actually see the change here by hovering over it. Oh, it disappears. Um, 300%... What is... What is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, what have I created? I love this. I I I just enjoy this the singular focus rune. It's one of my favorite runes. I hate that it costs five. Like I really wish it would only cost three. I understand there needs to be some nerfing, but especially oh nice, especially with this update now that you need more power from the runes to decide what you want to go for. Like if you want to go for crit, I have to take crit in the runes because otherwise in the game you don't get enough. Then I would really wish that either you have an additional rune slot. Actually, yes, that would be good. You have an additional rune slot. And at the same time, this one only costs three. Because otherwise, I spent half the points just to have multiple weapons, but I can't use them properly then. He says while melting the enemies faster than ever before. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> Listen, we got 100 level ups, so I had 80 points to put into the character. And that made him a lot stronger. I think that should be a given. Oh, careful, careful. How do I have full HP again? Huh. Huh. Nice. Hey, look at this. Incarnation of fire. Do you see the area of the earthquake? If I can take this to the size of this entire arena. Nice. Yeah, if I can take this to the size of the entire arena. <laughs> then no matter where we cast it, it will just hit everything. Let's see how fast we can kill them. Right now. I think it's really exponential what we are doing. <laughs> Careful there. Okay. Okay. Um... This one actually takes a way longer time than before. I think it's just because enemies following me. Damage increase, nice, careful. Okay. Huh. No, wait, wait, what? I just looked away for one moment on the floor to dodge stuff. Wait, what happened to the HP bars? I, I don't understand this. Like, it felt like I'm really not doing a lot of damage and I didn't understand where the other damage was coming from. And they're dead. Sure. Oh, wow. Kind of all of these are insane. I'll take this one, though. We just want... I didn't even know what it was. I think it was... Uh, the skill link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one triggers the others. Then the next boss is already... Okay, this time I'll actually look at it. What is this effect? Days Or something like that. Confused. They're confused. I don't know what that means. And I don't know what it cause, it's caused by. But that's totally fine. I'm sure it's one of these skills that I picked up down here. And I just don't know which one. Right? That's not brittle, no. I have nothing else. Oh, oh, oh. They are dying though. And I should probably mention we are still playing on the highest difficulty. I haven't scaled down at all. I wanted to see the power of this. And so far, I think it's fair to say they have 100 million HP. 
This is getting demolished. I will take a look at the damage numbers after this if I don't forget about it. Can we just please quickly kill them that I can actually take a look at the damage numbers? Okay, this one is about to die. Good, good. Um, okay, now there's only one... What are the amount of earthquakes on the floor? Where's the final boss though? Was he bottom right? Yeah, there he is. Okay, 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 let's go, let's go. Earthquake him. Earthquake. Oh, 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 look at the size. Look, do you see the size? <laughs> what is this area? Oh, skill breakdown. Let's check it out. You have caught up so much. It's half now. And keep in mind, this is divided by four. Ooh, yes. Oh, um, do I need these? Is there like a benefit to collect them right now? Like, does this carry over? And these ones down here, they do not carry over. That's also important to note. I just lost a huge amount of HP because the enemy spit at me. I don't like that. <laughs> Believe it or not, I need more area. I need a lot more area on this one. Actually, on all of them, but especially this one. That is the most important one. Okay, the first boss is already... 160 million HP, are you kidding me? Um, okay, this could be a little bit diff... No, never mind. Never mind. I thought it would be a little bit difficult. Yep, perfect. I thought this would be a little bit difficult. Looks like they are just all dying. Yeah, HP is disappearing. <laughs> I want to get every single upgrade on this character. And oh my god, yes. I want to get every single upgrade on this character and see how crazy this turns. Okay, more crits is always good. Let's collect all the experience. Wasn't even enough to level up once. We are level 106 though. That is a solid level, and the last time we were on Prestige 100, I think. I wonder how much Prestige we'll get for this now, because we have gotten, like, like we have done a lot here. We have progressed a lot, we have killed a lot. Uh, careful. I just love when an enemy walks into us and gets one shot immediately. Okay, he's back here. He's getting rolled over. I don't think this is actually the best weapon to do this with. But I don't know, I, I don't think there's a slam weapon that attacks faster that would have been better. Damage increase on these is good. We have 500 damage stacks. 120% area. Just with one singular weapon. Oh yeah, I don't want to have the day ones. Only as day ones. Listen, this stage is dark. Okay, it's harder to see the dark one than the white one. Look at this. It just glows. Now we have melees though taking care of the enemies. So I can just go back here and hopefully kill the enemies without getting attacked. The bosses. How's it looking HP wise? Doesn't look like... I did all too much to do them. The dead dude that was attacking my summons and almost hit me. Okay, yeah, but it, it doesn't look like we're doing all too much. Where are my earthquakes? They're not up below the enemies here, I'm noticing. Okay, now they are. Yeah, now the HP is disappearing. Oh my god, yes, let's go. <laughs> More area of effect. <laughs> Keep in mind, we mostly care about the debuff. So it doesn't even matter if we don't increase damage on it. We want to. You know, to, buff, to bump, uh, bump it up like crazy. But we don't really care about damage, we just care about attack speed. In fact, I don't even think we care about damage on any of our weapons right now because of the brittle effect just dealing all of the damage. Like this one here has 1300 damage, but if they have 2300 brittle stacks, that's 7000 to 10000 bonus damage per hit. Wait, why can the enemies block my attacks so easily? Like, do you see the block numbers? Where it says blocked? Why is that even a thing? I, I think that's new. I don't know if I like that. Uh, area on you, area on everything. I think I'll go for every. Well, no, the earthquake is way more important. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but huh, the the blocking feels a bit weird. Why can the enemies do that? That's unfair. Oh, 35 minutes, by the way. We're done before. So, how's it looking with some more area upgrades? It's looking... <sighs> Careful, Dex, you're dying. It's looking... okay. We, we're not getting to a point where we just easily kill the enemies, but the enemies are also not getting to a point where they just one-shot me. I mean, eventually, but not right now. So, I think I feel good about this. I died. Okay, great. Like, the moment... I had to jinx it, right? I had to jinx it. I couldn't just shut up. No, I had to say it. <laughs> so... <laughs> of course. Okay, and I'm, almost, I'm almost dead. Yeah. Okay, Twilight Harmony, sure, why not? My clones get something. I think this is- oh my god, they all spawned in a line. Did you see that? That also means Earthquake stacks like stupid. Oh. Okay. Can you guys stop attacking me? I don't- I really don't think that's cool. That, that's really disrespectful. I'm- what is this stuff? 
<laughs> this just shows you how crazy this actually is. Wow, the earthquake caught up so much. That was amazing. I love the Monkey King. I love this mode in general, the overhaul. But I really hope that you get the old way back, how it was, just with a tick box. I hope you guys also enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.